it's Jim from JetsonHacks.com. In this screencast, we are going to install the Racecar J software. Let's get started. We are going to install the MIT Racecar variation of Racecar J today. We are on the Racecar J account of GitHub, and we are in the install Racecar J repository. Let's clone the repository. We'll grab the address here. Now we switch over to the repository directory. We have freshly flashed this Jetson. This is a Jetson TX2 with L4T 28.1 using Jetpack 3.1. We have also installed CUDA 8.0, CUDNN 6.0, and OpenCV for Tegra 2.4.13. For the MIT race car configuration, we have some hardware requirements. One is a Stereo Lab Z camera, a Kuyo UST 10LX scanning range finder, and a SparkFun SEN 14001 IMU. The first step is to install the appropriate Stereolabs Z driver. For the Jetson TX2, that is stored in the Jetson TX2 folder. So we'll switch over there. Let's install the Z driver. This will download the driver and install it. colon Q. To continue, you have to accept the EULA. Accept? Yes, please. Yes, install our stuff. Let's install the samples too. That's fine. ZSDK installation complete. If you have your Z camera connected to the Jetson, the installer will download the Z calibration file. So let's go up a directory. Clear this off. Now we are going to install the MIT race car software configuration. There are several steps. It's mostly all automated. The first step is to install a CDC ACM driver, which allows us to be able to talk to the IMU and the electronic speed controller. We also install some UDEV rules so that we can refer to the IMU and ESC by name. We install robot operating system, basically ROS base. We then install ROS Kinetic OpenCV3 because the Z wrapper needs it. And then the MIT race car packages are installed. The script to install the MIT race car software is called install MIT race car .sh. During the build process, there is a lot of information that is sent to the terminal. So let's log that to a file. We are going to send it to Here we go. And now the software is installed. One thing that we want to take a look at, open up a new terminal. The scripts set a couple of environment variables. Let's go down to the bottom here. One is the ROS master URI. It sets it to the local host. 
and it exports the ROS IP to the IP of the actual machine that we're using. You will have to change these based on your network setup. We also source setup.bash out of OptRos Kinetic. We should be able to run ROS Core. We'll switch over to the race car directory, source the devil, and ROS Core. And sure enough, it runs. You will be able to teleoperate your car now if your VESC is programmed. Thanks for watching.